And his kick is perfect. And the Blue Raiders get the football first and get three points out of it. Pickup was four at second and six. Artisan facing pressure, throws it away, and I'll wait to see if there's a flag there. Didn't look like there was anyone in the area. Not sure that Hardison was able to get out of the pocket. The officials will meet now. Not a whole lot in the playbook that you want to take a chance on this deep in your own territory this early on. We'll see what the Miners do, and they're under pressure again, and Hardison goes down again inside his own two-yard line, and he's taken down by Marley Cook. Meanwhile, UTEP's been outscored 61-16 coming into this one. And you make it 64 after the field goal in the first drive. Cunningham breaks, the play breaks down. Cal Waller set saying, not on my watch. And keep an eye on the return man, Jalen Lane, who returned the last punt for a touchdown, but it was called back by a holding penalty. And this punt is blocked at the line of scrimmage. And it'll roll just shy of the 40-yard line, but Middle Tennessee breaking through there. Josh Sloan throwing his hands up in the air. Cunningham with time initially, now scrambling. Throws in the end zone, wide open receiver, and it is a touchdown for the Blue Raiders. Tate Jr. with the catch. Gives the Blue Raiders the first touchdown of the, of the evening. And you gotta give Cunningham a lot of credit. I mean, the offensive line isn't doing a great job blocking, but Cunningham's creating a plays. Well, they'll go to the ground, and it's Deion Hankins with a little bit of room off the right side, and then he just keeps turning those feet across the 35-yard line. So there's one thing that's been working so far as the play clock now under 10, and they change the formation. Here's Awat off the left side. And he breaks a tackle. Awat still on his feet across the 45, and it looks like he has enough for a first down. Hardison facing pressure. He doesn't see it, and he goes down. It was coming from the edge. Diedrich Stanley is the man who takes down Hardison, who's made every kick since missing his first one of the season. 15 to 16 on the year. And this kick is on its way, and it is perfect. Boy. And that is why this game is so critical for them to try and even up the record. Cunningham goes down. He was backed into by his own offensive lineman. He had nowhere to go. Ball's Run up the middle, the ball's loose. And UTEP is saying they have it, and the official agrees. So the Miners force the turnover, just as Middle Tennessee was threatening once again. And now it's third and 11. And here comes the pressure. Hardison running out of time, running out of room, and he goes down. And ultimately, he's polished off, it looks like, by Zaylin Wood. Ready to deliver a hit. Hardison. Off the back foot again, makes the connection this time though to, to Tyron Smith and he breaks a tackle across the 35 yard line and Smith showing his explosiveness when he gets into that open field, look out. It's Hankins next to Hardison. Smith is the motion man. Pressure comes, they get it away to Smith, wide open in the corner of the end zone. It is a touchdown for the UTEP Miners with 27 seconds left here in the first half. With the huge blitz coming, and Hardison able to find Tyron Smith in the corner of the end zone, no one anywhere near him. Uh, what, what a great drive. Eric, you called it. He also is a forced fumble machine as well. Now they go with the draw with Pizan. Pizan pulls over a defender, my goodness. Across the 35-yard line, that'll stop the clock at 15 seconds, and it's enough for a first down. Go to the ground on first down. Pizant breaks a tackle and has some room on the outside. Tyrese Knight finally brings him down across the 30-yard line. That's almost half of the total they had prior to that run in the game. Cunningham facing some pressure. Has to let it go, looking for Pizant. And it is caught by Pizant. Did he have possession? The official says yes. 11.33 left to play in the third quarter. Miners looked like they had a for sure 75-yard touchdown on the first play of this half. It was wide open, dropped by Trent Thompson, and now trying to get something on this drive. And Gavin Hardison with a great run there on first down. Pressure coming. And the pass is picked off and falling down to the ground. 
Oh my goodness, that would have been a walk-in pick six, but Jacoby Thomas comes up with the interception. And you can kind of hear the air come out of the Sun Bowl right now, but this minor defense still has some work to do to try and keep Middle Tennessee out of the end zone. Cunningham to the outside, pass is complete, and there's the touchdown. It is DJ England Chisholm, who's missed the last three games, made a man miss. Nice little out route to the flat, and he just made a made a move. It was a, the defender overran him? But Kelly Akari makes the catch and keeps the drive alive. Quick screen out to Tyron Smith. He's got a seam across the 40-yard line and inside the 35. It is a pickup of about 17 on the play. Hardison on the rollout. Gets one off and it's caught by Tyron Smith at the 25 yard line. That was a slow developing play. It felt like it took forever. So it's Calvin Brownholtz at quarterback, not Gavin Hardison. They did play action pass out of this. Now they go to Hankins. He's got some room off the side, needs to break one tackle, can't. 33 on 33, but it's enough for a first down. But the Miners have had so much success doing that, especially on those short, short, short third downs. Here's a deep shot to Tyron Smith. He makes the catch inside the 30-yard line, and that puts him well over 100 yards on the night. And so now Gavin Beckley will try and make this. He's from the 38-yard line. It's a 48-yard field goal, and the kick is up and splits the uprights. He's still just been phenomenal. It's all negated after the touchback from Gavin Beckley. It is now first and 10 for the Blue Raiders from the 25. And they're going to take a deep shot. And over the middle, it is Jalen Lane. And he makes the catch. And he'll go all the way in for a touchdown. 75 yards. What a response from the Blue Raiders. And Thompson dropped it. Middle Tennessee takes its shot and connects. What a catch from Jalen Lane. Perfectly placed from Chase Cunningham. And he made the catch. But they need to score twice. Here's Pizant around the edge. And he's got a big gain and enough for a first down on the very first play. Some fans still hanging around here at their feet trying to get this defense motivated to make a stop. They actually do throw it to Tate. He makes the first man miss and then his forward momentum takes him up to midfield. And it is a first down. It's going to be a long night for Middle Tennessee, although made a lot happier by the wind tonight. They have to hop on a plane and go back east. Long trip back. They'll get back in the wee hours of the morning, but it feels a lot better when you walk away with an 11-point win. You get your first conference win of the season.